Good morning and welcome to our service from St Lawrence Gessling this morning on the fourth Sunday after Trinity. Some thank yous to begin with. Thank you to Jim for his sermon and for choosing the hymns. Thank you to Val for her intercessions and thank you to Sarah for reading Val's prayers and for also doing our two Bible readings for today. I hope you enjoy the service. Today we will hear Jesus say to us, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Amen. Our first hymn is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. We say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus shows us what to do when we are weary and carrying heavy burdens. Let's do that now. Let's come to Jesus in prayer and confess our sins in the presence of God. We will learn from him and find rest for our souls. We say together, Dear Jesus, thank you that we can come to you, learn from you, and find rest for our souls. We confess to you that we are weary and carry heavy burdens because we have failed to follow your will and have chased after our own desires and expectations. We are sorry. Have mercy on us and forgive us all our sins. Teach us your gentle ways and bring us to eternal life. Amen. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. We say together the Collect for the fourth Sunday after Trinity. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Zechariah, Chapter 9, verses 9 to 12. The section is entitled, The Future King. Rejoice, rejoice, people of Zion. Shout for joy, you people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He comes triumphant and victorious, but humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The Lord says, I will remove the war chariots from Israel, and take the horses from Jerusalem. The bows used in battle will be destroyed. Your king will make peace among the nations. He will rule from sea to sea, from the river Euphrates to the ends of the earth. The Lord says, because of my covenant with you that was sealed by the blood of sacrifices, I will set your people free, free from the waterless pit of exile. Return, you exiles who now have hope, return to your place of safety. I tell you now, I will repay you twice over with blessing for all you have suffered. This is the word of the Lord. Our second hymn today is Dear Lord and Father of Mankind. The second reading is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 16 to 19. 
and then 25 to the end. Now, to what can I compare the people of this day? They are like children sitting in the marketplace. One group shouts to the other, we played wedding music for you, but you wouldn't dance. We sang funeral songs, but you wouldn't cry. When John came, he fasted and drank no wine, and everyone said, he has a demon in him. When the Son of Man came, he ate and drank, and everyone said, look at this man. He is a glutton and a drinker, a friend of tax collectors and other outcasts. God's wisdom, however, is shown to be true by its results. Jesus said, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you because you have shown to the unlearned what you have hidden from the wise and learned. Yes, Father, this was how you wanted it to happen. My Father has given me all things. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you. Learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest. For the yoke I will give you is easy, and the load I will put on you is light. This is the word of the Lord. Please now read Jim's reflection from the website. Let us declare together our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received and this we believe. Amen. This morning's intercessions have been written by the Reverend Val Gibbs. Let us pray with confidence to the Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Bless and strengthen the church to which the mystery of faith has been revealed. Grant that she may speak the words of comfort to all people to meet their diversity without losing the integrity of truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this time of the pandemic, Come with healing into the discontent of the world and take away the suspicion that separates people and set them against each other. While we wait for our church services to resume, may we remember each other, pray for each other and make us gentle and humble in our dealings with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on those who are bowed down under heavy loads, wearied by poverty and hunger, by sickness or by the weight of unresolved sin. Bring them to your side to find comfort and assurance in your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the departed who have laid down their burdens and found eternal rest. We give thanks that to them all mysteries have been revealed and the fullness of the divine love made known. We offer our prayers in the name of Christ, whose yoke is easy and whose burden is light. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
Our final hymn is Forth in Thy Name, O Lord, I Go. Let us pray. Lord, we bring ourselves today just as we are. Help us to see your love shining through us. Help us to have a childlike eagerness to know you more and share your love in the world. May we live as your children, gentle and lowly in heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now the blessing, which is one of my favourites. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. And the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you, those you love and those you pray for, today and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.